so am I in a good mood because I get to work on the van? Or is it because I get to work on the van that I'm in a good mood? Think about it. Guys, and one girl according to the analytics, welcome back to the channel. So, quick update on to where we're at. You guys have been watching, you know the motor's all done, we got the stereo mounted, we did the cool shifter. We just finished up the jail cell, which works flawless. So today we are going to be pretty much just finishing little mock-up stuff. Game plan is uh, with the spiral bar that we used on the grill in the jail cell, I'm going to make some door handles. As you can see, I have some repair work to do on these. So, we're just going to weld nuts onto here and call that a day. So, I'm going to make both door handles and uh, I need a cup holder. So, we're going to look around the garage and see if we can do something about that. So, I'm going to get started. First thing I'm going to do is door handles though. I do have a couple extra pieces of metal left over. So, I think this nice spiral part should be alright. Let's see. I mean, it's... Uh, Pretty close, pretty close. Might have to go in at a slight angle on both sides, but we'll get a cut and we'll see. So I'm gonna fire up some tools and I'll be right back. Quick update. I wanted to make sure it would work before I went much further. And as you can see, it works fine. Basically, uh, I'll show you the process real quick. It was pretty simple. Uh, I just had to cut some thin metal, like a little less than half inch, which I didn't have. Uh, welded onto the corners, and then I just welded washers right onto here, and then uh, welded a nut right on the door where it was missing. So it's uh, it's strong. It ain't going nowhere. You can see I didn't exactly have the right metal, but I had the right enough metal where I could just rip it in half. So we got these pieces here, and these pieces here, and the other one's around somewhere. So we're going to weld this together. Alright, so I'm going to walk through the steps of how I made these. Pretty easy. So, step one. You are going to want to grind like a 45 degree angle on both of these. So, I'm going to listen to some cool music while you guys listen to some copy free music. And enjoy. All right, it should not come as a surprise that this shirt is caught on fire like, I don't know, four or five times. So, my favorite shirt. Problem is, very flammable. Step two, we are just gonna eyeball this and tack it into place. Enough for mock-up purposes all right so once you get it set to where you want it and I want it right on the outside of both the nuts now you can put your welding mask on and hammer it home so let's do that All right, there we go. Good enough for SEMA. Assuming SEMA means Southeast Manglers Association. So now we're gonna put the washers on. All right, this next part, we're just gonna lightly tack on both washers. This piece of metal is just to hold it in place. Just one little tiny tack.
That's plenty. Then we're going to check it, see if it lines up. And if so, then we'll hammer it home. I'd say that looks pretty good. Yep, good enough. Now we'll weld the whole backside. Make sure these are level. Okay. So I did not record uh, bolting this on, but as you can see, it fits perfectly. And through the magic of video editing, that side's done too. So now I think we're gonna move on and uh, gotta do something about some cup holders. So, uh, let me brainstorm this. All right, cup holder time. So, I remembered that I bought one of these. I thought it was aluminum, but it's magnetic, so that means it's not aluminum, at least. It's metal. So, we can weld on it. Probably should have went with these for the grill, because these are, like, three pounds each. And these are very, very, very light, because they're hollow. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half, and I'm going to get two equal pieces. Alright, so now I have two identical pieces. The only thing I did was I welded a nut onto the end of these, and you didn't miss anything other than me cursing when I grabbed this bolt after I welded the first one, and it burned me. So now we're going to squish and bend these, and there's a reason for that. I'm going to try to get these symmetrical. Right about there. So let's squish it. Look straight. Ish. And we're just guessing. And the reason we're bending it is, my game plan is, I'm going to utilize these little nuts down here and bolt that right to that. So I'm going to do the other one, drill some holes, and see where we're at. Okay, so that's what the holes are for. They go into the original mounting brackets for the bottom of the doghouse cover. So these are eh, level enough. Uh, if you look this way, this one has to be brought back, so I'll undo it. Just throw it in the vise for a second and fix it. Now I'm going to get a piece of metal to connect these to kind of just keep it square. So I'm going to go up into my spare metal up there, and I'm sure I'll find something. So I found this sweet little scrap piece of aluminum, and like, look at this, man. It's like it was made for it. So, I cut it. I put it in place. Now we're all leveled up. I think we're good side to side. We're good left to right. Only thing left for me to do now is go steal the cup holders off my couch. So, wish me luck. With the, uh, I'm not going to call this the finished product, because I really don't like the crossbar here. I know I can do better. Uh, I mean, it'll probably disappear once it gets painted black, but right now it's just, you know, I hate it. So, what I'm probably going to end up doing, I'm going to pick up, like, some quarter-inch steel rod, and I'll just drop, like, a little point here, and I'll do a V going out to both sides, and I'll get rid of this bar. Because this bar only keeps this from going side to side. It doesn't help with front to back, as you can see. But if I do the V, I think that will help. All right, so here we go, finished product. As you can see, I ended up going with a little quarter inch bar. Just ran to Lowe's and grabbed this, welded it in place, just welded two washers up here and dropped her through the motor compartment. So that's gonna do it. I mean, we got the door handles done, so now they can come off. Cup holder's done and cup holder, this can stay on the whole compartment that this slides right out. Even got bored, did a little acrylic around the stereo up here because it matches so well to the motor cover. And I had extra. And that's it, guys. 
nice little quick video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, get off the couch and get in the garage. You guys know what time it is? That's right. It's time to put some tape around this beverage so I don't get a copyright strike.